all-wheel drive versus four-wheel drive. I bought an Isuzu Via Cross and it's all-wheel drive. Previously, I've had Jeep Wranglers and CJ7s that were four-wheel drive. Well, if it's got four wheels and they all are driven, why isn't that all-wheel drive? Well, four-wheel drive works by having a differential and spinning all four wheels at the same speed, or at least trying to, depending on whether you've got lockers and things like that. Whereas all-wheel drive has a smart system that routes power to whichever wheel needs it based on how much grip it can get and where there's slippage. So with all-wheel drive, you tend to get better fuel economy and you can just leave it in that mode and it will handle where to send the power. Whereas if you're running four-wheel drive, it's always sending power everywhere, regardless of whether those places need it. With the Isuzu Viacross, they use a Borg Warner all-wheel drive system that's called torque on demand. And what that really means is that if the back tires are starting to slip or the back or the torque converter has determined that it's applying enough power that the amount of grip that ought to be available to each wheel exceeds what the engine is producing. I didn't say that quite right. If the engine is producing more power and torque than what your tires should be able to grip at, it starts to send power to other places at whatever ratio it needs to. So for example, let's say that you've got a car that's capable of producing 10,000 foot-pounds of torque. Your tires can't put all of that torque in one spot. So if you send it all to the back tires, they'd spin. Now, with 10,000 foot-pounds of torque, it doesn't really matter whether you also put it to the front wheels, but you're going to have twice as much grip as if you'd only send it to the back tires. And so you're going to be much more accelerant than you would be if you just spun those back tires. But once you're going, you can disengage the front tires so that you've got that more efficient system. You don't have to drive the front tires, and so you don't have that mechanical resistance that comes from driving that differential, driving that extra bit of mass, and so you have a more efficient system. And that's really what all-wheel drive has for a benefit versus four-wheel drive. Now, there are some occasions where a four-wheel drive system can be better, and that's the reason that something like the Via Cross has a four-low mode that just plain locks everything down and says, okay, all four tires are going to spin at exactly the same speed. Now, this is the best when you're driving in snow or on ice or in very deep mud, because which tire things need to go to can change so rapidly that the system can't keep up with it, in which case four-wheel drive is better than all-wheel drive. So that's the difference between all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive.